Welcome, in this tutorial we'll cover how to set up and use a time clock kiosk, manage users and pin codes and run time reports. First you need to enable kiosk mode in workspace settings. Then go to kiosk from the sidebar and click create. This kiosk will be for people in our west side branch, so we'll name it like that and also select it here, so all the time will be tracked to it. Next, we'll add members who will use this kiosk to clock in. Let's also require a PIN code. Each person gets their personal PIN automatically, plus here you can see the kiosk's universal PIN with which you or a manager can clock in for any member. Once we create a kiosk, it will show up in the list and you'll get a link which you can open on any device. You can edit a kiosk here to add new people to it or deactivate it if you'll no longer use it. If you have a new employee, you can add them on the team page. If you're adding a manager or a worker that will personally log in to Clockify to track time and view reports, you can add them here as a full member. But if a person doesn't have an email and will only use Clockify through the kiosk, you can add them as a limited user here. If that person later needs to access other parts of Clockify, like reports or personal time tracker, you can convert them to a full user by adding their email. You can edit someone's information and upload their photo by opening their profile here. You can see and reset someone's pin here or you can go to the kiosk page and download all the assignees along with their pin codes here. Let's now cover how to open and use the kiosk. Go to kiosk page and then copy and open the kiosk link in a browser on a device you wish people to use like tablet, phone or computer. Then log in with your admin credentials, the same ones you use to log into Clockify. You can prevent people from accidentally exiting the app on a tablet by pinning the link. On iOS devices, you can add a link to home screen and in guided access leave, only touch and keyboard enabled. On Android devices, you can pin a link to the home page. For more detailed information, visit our help center, the link is in the description. Once the kiosk is open, your members can select themselves, enter their pin and clock in with a single button. Once they're finished, they return to the kiosk and either clock out or start a break. They can also see their current timer, total track time for the day and week, and if they had any breaks and when. To get the break option, make sure you've enabled it in workspace settings. Then an employer will see start break button while they're clocked in. When they tap it, they will be clocked out and a timer for their break will start. When they finish, they can tap finish break to stop the break timer and clock in again. If you wish to clock in for others, select the person and enter the kiosk's universal PIN code. The kiosk will automatically log out after 24 hours, after which people won't be able to clock in or out. But you can change the session duration in kiosk settings here and make it longer or shorter. You can also close it manually by signing in as admin with your PIN code and choosing close kiosk. Closing doesn't stop any active timers, so make sure everyone's clocked out beforehand. To see all employees that are currently clocked, open Clockify in your browser, go to Dashboard, select Team and scroll down to Activity Table. You can pin the table to the top of the page here and bookmark the link for quick access. You can also go to Timesheet and select someone's timesheet or go to someone's calendar to see how their day looked like. Each time someone clocks in and out, a time entry is created. The same happens if they go on a break. Here in the detailed report, you can see all the individual time entries along with their start and end time. You can edit any entry directly like this or add time for someone like this. Here in the summary report, you can see all track time broken down by any dimension you want. For example, you can group time by user, then by date or choose some other breakdown here. By default, time is categorized by projects and clients, but you can change it to something that better fits your business like location in the workspace settings. 
You can filter reports to see time only for a certain person or a location or a certain time period like this. You can also filter by kiosk, but you first need to add it to filters here. And finally, you can export all the data in PDF, CSV or Excel here, which you can later send to payroll or accounting. You can control what's exported here in Customize. For example, you can rename the title of PDF, exclude pay or include custom user fields. Now, if there's additional information you wish to add to employees like department or their ID, you can create a custom user field here. Then you open a user's profile, fill the details and on the detailed report when you customize export, you enable the field and all time entries for that person will also have that user's information. Those are the basics of time clock administration in Clockify. Be sure to check out our other videos to see how to set up Clockify from scratch and learn more about other features like approval, time off and scheduling.